वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू ऑनलाइन लेक्चर सीरीज ऑर्गेनाइज बाय एसएनडी कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड रिसर्च सेंटर एवला माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर हर्षद नाने एंड आई एम टीचिंग दिस सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर कंप्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग एंड द टुडे टॉपिक इज वन डायमेंशनल एनालिसिस हियर आर द पॉइंट्स व्हिच वी हैव टू कवर इन टुडे सेशन which are matrix analysis of one dimensional spar or rod element and assembly of two one dimensional elements we know that the one dimensional element is shown in the figure it consists of a line element or simple one element one element having nodes 2 node 1 and node 2 the deformations at node 1 is shown by u1 while the deformation at node 2 is shown by u2 also this element has two applied forces f1 at node 1 and f2 at node 2 now let d l is the length of the element in mm a is the cross sectional area of the element in mm square e is the modulus of elasticity of the material in newton per mm square F one is the force acting at node one. It is given in the unit Newton. F two is the force acting on node two. It is also in Newton. While the U one and U two are the displacements of node one and two, respectively, in mm. We know that the stiffness of the element K. is given by k is equal to a e by l so here a is the cross sectional area e is the modulus of elasticity and l is the length of the element from figure we can say that force acting at f uh, node 1 f1 is equal to stiffness into change in deformation that is f1 is equal to k into u1 minus u2 similarly Force acting at node two f two is given by f two is equal to k in bracket u two minus u one. Therefore, we can write these equations in terms of u one and u two as f one is equal to k into u one minus k into u two, and f two is equal to minus k into u one plus k into u two. These above equations can be written. in matrix form as in matrix f1 f2 is equal to in matrix k minus k minus k k into matrix u1 u2 the f1 f2 matrix has of order 2 by 1 while the stiffness matrix having of order 2 by 2 and the displacement matrix having order of 2 by 1 therefore we can write f is equal to k into U N, that is force matrix. It is equal to stiffness matrix into displacement matrix, where F is known as element force vector, K is known as element stiffness matrix, and U N is known as element nodal displacement vector. Together, these equations we can say that element force vector is equal to element stiffness matrix into element nodal displacement vector here main the main point to note that the dimension of the element stiffness matrix is n by n where n is the total degree of freedom of the particular element or of the element now we will study the assembly of two one dimensional element the figure shows two elements Connected at node two in the one dimensional, they are shown in the figure. The node one act, uh, force one F one is acting at node one, while the force F two is acting at node three. The U one, U two, and U three are the deformations at node one, two, and three respectively. While the length of element one is L one. and length of element 2 is l2 now such type of the two dim uh, one dimensional two elements k 
can be modeled by dissembling the individual. The figure shows the element 1 and 2 individually after the discretization. The element 1 is shown in the figure having length L1 and nodes 1, 2. The deformations at node 1, 2 are U1 and U2 respectively, while the forces are designated by F11 and F21. The F11 stands for force acting at node 1 and to do the node 1, while F21 is the force acting at node 2 from the node 1. Similarly, at element 2, the length is L2 and the nodes are 2 and 3, while the U2 and U3 are the deformations at respective nodes. The force is F22 and F32. Now, assembly of such two one dimensional elements. In case of assembly, we can write for one dimensional element as F11, F21 is equal to K1 minus K1 minus K1 K1 into U1 U2 where K1 is the stiffness of element 1 in terms of Newton per mm or it is shown in a A1 E1 upon L1 where A1 is the area of cross section of element 1 U1 is the modulus of elasticity of element 1 and L is the length of the element 1 F11 is the force acting on global node 1 of element 1 when the F21 is the force acting on the global node 2 of element 1 U1 and U2 are the displacements at node 1 and 2 similarly we can write for element 2 the equation is F22 F32 is equal to K2 minus K2 minus K2 into K2 into U2 U3 where K2 is the stiffness of element 2 L2 is the length of element 2 A2 is the cross sectional area of element 2 and E2 is the modulus of elasticity of the material F22 are the, is the force acting on a global node of 2 while the F32 is the force acting on a global node of 3 of element 2 U2 and U3 are the displacements at their respective nodes now, if we add these two equations to assemble the form one dimensional element so in matrix form we can write F11, F210 plus 0, F22, F32 which is equal to K1 minus K10 minus K1, K10, 0, 0, 0, 0, U1, U2, U3 plus 0, 0, 0, 0, K2 minus K2, 0 minus K2, K2 into U1, U3, U2, U3 and we can write F11 F21 plus F22 and F32 will be equal to K1 minus K1 0 minus K1 K1 plus K2 minus K2 0 minus K2 K2 into U1 U2 U3 or we can write this last equation as F1 0 F2 equal to K1 minus K1 0 minus k1 k1 plus k2 minus k2 0 minus k2 k2 into u1 u2 u3 or we can write f is equal to k into un where f is equal to f1 0 f2 which is also known as global force vector k is equal to k1 minus k1 0 minus k1 k1 plus k2 minus k2 0 minus k2 k2 which is also known as global stiffness matrix and the deformation un which is equal to u1 u2 u3 is known as global nodal displacement vector therefore we can write global load vector is equal to global stiffness matrix 
into global nodal displacement vector uh, guys this is about the matrix analysis of one dimensional spiral element and the assembly of two one dimensional element when in the simple single element there are two nodes while in the assembly of two one dimensional elements there are three nodes the overall equation says that the equation main equation for the analysis of the problem is f is equal to k into un where f is the global load vector k is the global stiffness matrix and un is the global nodal displacement vector okay guys thank you